it's it's so it's so beautiful to work outside, you know. It's such a it's such a wonderful feeling to be outside and you have something in your hand that you want to pick up that you wouldn't that you want to work on and you want to you want to finish. You know, so you know, I, right now I'm always keeping my eyes open for abandoned space space that's not being utilized why we look for abandoned space it's because you know like why why shoot, shoot yourself in a foot you know it's a, a building is, is very expensive to to maintain to pay the bills so abandoned space works very very good for recycled paper arts mainly because we need the the, 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 the wind we need the sun to dry our goods so there's no point making a machine to dry it nature does it best so an open field a back alley you know that where nobody goes 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 too much to hang out in a rooftop a parking lot a backyard you name it, you know. So that's that's our working space, and I, I guess nothing is going to change. But it, it is good to have a studio. It is good to have an office that you can walk into and just do your your ad administrative work, your paperwork. Um, you can put your finished work on display. That's nice. But in terms of production. Manufacturing the goods doesn't really require a lot. Basically, you just have to be innovative. You just have to be creative. Common sense. So if you're if you're like myself, you're not gonna create for yourself a bill when you can go ahead and do the work anyways complete the process and get paid on your own time so those tropical countries down in the, the southern region or on the equator if you're into recycled paper goods recycled paper arts you know we are definitely we are definitely gonna tell you a thing or two you know? 
when it comes to the, the what you're doing, we're gonna give you a thumbs up. I guess if you're doing the right thing, which is that uh, utilizing the energy. It's called free energy from the universe, and there's nothing wrong with that. Especially if you're an artist, and the way that you work requires the sun for to, to dry. It's nighttime here and it's a little bit cool and this one panel that I have sitting over there I'm sure by tomorrow if it's a beautiful day that this uh, board is going to be finished it's going to be super dry and I'm going to be able to apply some some paint to it so really what it is it is the it's a board it's a giant board um, ready for a picture to be mounted on. Um, our next step with that is to create a, a frame large enough to sit on it. So that means, so that means um, by the time we make the frame, uh, then we have to decide what, uh, what the finish is going to be like. So we will have, I will, we will have a, like a mat around it. So and hopefully we would like to get this done by next, by this week, by the ending of this week, uh, weekend. So um, tune in, you know, and just see where we're at with that. And you'll, you're going to see one of the largest frames that Recycled Paper Arts will ever produce in 2011. And of course, not limited. But um, if you if you have been paying attention, you might have seen one large piece that we had um, during the time that we were downtown at Queen and Ossington. That guide star design was a lulling over. <laughs> but so we want to continue where we left off. Anyways, recycled paper arts. The Sustainable Art Gallery.